about the response of individuals because we would rather just come to church and have a, you know, hear a good sermon and we want a man to hear some good singing and then leave the way we were intact. But God said, no, 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 not in this day. All right. In this day, there's a call. There's a call to bring individuals closer to him. There's a call for you to get his mind. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. To get there, you have got to come before God willing to change. You have to prepare for the presence of God. Touch three people and say, let's prepare. Let's prepare for what God's about to do next. Let's prepare for the miracles that's about to come. Let's prepare. Now, enemy 
Iron stone is inflexible. It has a hardness of it. And God looked at their heart and said, I liken you to an animate stone. Something that was broken. I allowed you to go into bondage. But the bondage could not break your hard heart. Spirit of witchcraft. My God in the kingdom. Hard-headedness. Stiff-neckedness. Spirit of disobedience. All right. You hear the word, but you're going about your business anyway. Business as usual. And God said, you have an animate heart. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. But for some of those that are crying to God, he said, I scattered you, my God, and, your, and, and I turned my hand against you, my God, but, but, but something shifted in the midst, my God, many of us want the glory of God, but God told me to preach to somebody today and tell you, if you want to see his glory in your house, my God, let me tell you something right now, until the glory come to your house, the glory can come to the church. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Such about you. People say it starts at home, honey. It starts at home. Oh, My God, you got to have some devotion in your house. Yeah. You got to have some love flowing in your house. You got to have some togetherness in your house. Oh, you got to have some prayer going on in your house. Oh, in your right. house. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, Folks come together in church. Seems like they can't get a breakthrough. Seems like they can't get a prayer through. But no wonder you ain't praying in your house. There ain't no devotion in your house. There's too much confusion in your house. You got to learn how to bring the glory in your house. My God, and God will follow you to the church. Somebody shout hallelujah. starting to fast. Somebody is starting to seek my face while I may be found. Somebody is starting to call on my name while I'm near to hear. Somebody, somebody is turning. Somebody is turning. Somebody is turning because I'm hearing their prayer now. I didn't hear their fast before. I didn't receive their fast before. I didn't receive their prayer before. But now I'm starting to hear it and the Bible says the Lord turned their he turned their captivity. If my people, right. which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and pray, and pray, and pray, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, I'll hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sin, and I'll heal their land. So somebody and say, don't you want God to heal your Jerusalem. But when he sends them back to their home 
foreign land, he sends them back with two commandments. The first commandment he gives them is, I want you to rebuild the temple that had been torn down and laying in ruin. Because they were away from home, they were in captivity. And so the enemy came in and tore down everything that they had that represented their God. So he tells them, listen, when you go back and I set you free, I want you to rebuild the temple walls that had been torn down. The second thing I need you to do is to restore the worship. Oh my God. Touch somebody and say, you got to reveal, you got to reveal, you got to reveal. Tell somebody else and tell them you got to restore, you got to restore, you got to restore. You got to build and you got to restore. That's a word by itself. All right, all right, all right. You got to rebuild and you got to restore. Somebody say yes, Lord. When God sets you free, you can go back to business as usual. That's right. When God sets you free, there's something he requires of you. There's too many folk in here, holly, Lord, make me free. But you don't understand that there are strings attached. Oh, touch your neighbor, say, don't get deep on me. Yeah, there are strings attached to everything God does for you. There are strings attached. When God does something for you, it's because he wants something from you. I say when God does something for you, it's because he wants something from you. What do you want from me, God? He wants your worship. He wants your worship. He wants your worship. He wants your worship. I'm looking for somebody that's going to worship me in spirit and in truth. For such seek of the Lord. I'm searching for somebody that'll stand up and be counted. That'll let the world that Jesus saves, that he delivers, that he sets free, that he opens doors, that he makes ways. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah.